Hey guys, it's Emmanuel here, the Enthusiastic Coder, and today I have a very exciting video. I am actually so happy to be doing this because I haven't filmed a proper video in like some time, a, a decent amount of time. So I'm very happy to record to be recording this. Um, in this video, I'm going to be basically going through the different stages of one of the things that I've made which is actually successful this time, very happy. <laughs> it's basically a mailbox, it is a mailbox, and it's really cool. It's something that my friend and I are doing, where we're kind of like sending each other letters, but obviously we need a mailbox. So that's the way we're doing it. She made hers out of wood and twigs, well not wood, out of sticks and grass and stuff like that, stuff from nature, and that's very cool, it's very awesome actually. But I decided, with my handy skills, <laughs> very handy, <laughs> to make mine out of cardboard and hot glue sticks, materials I usually find in the shop. So, I'm not sure if I'll show hers, because I'm not sure if she'd like that, but I'll show the various days of how I progressively make it. It is almost done. All I need to do is just waterproof it. So I'll go through the different stages. I'll also plot it outside of my house so that you can see how it looks. And yeah, that'll be essentially the entire video. So why don't we get into it? I'm also standing like this because this project has taken up a lot of space in my room. And my room is very, very oh, untidy. Man. So <laughs> literally, I have two tables. Both of them are covered with this stuff. Even my chair... I used as a third table, and it's not even nearly as big as those two tables. So you can just see how much time, how much effort, and how much space this took. But let's get into the video. So before I show you the progression of this, I may as well just show you around it. So this is how it looks like. It's a very, very simple design. It's just a box on the top, and it's the like a kind of like a stem on the bottom. So like a plant essentially. So all the content goes in here. Um, I protected it, so the, it's a flap, but it doesn't really come out that easily. So you can actually pull on it. It won't come off. You see, it does. This does come off, but not the whole thing. So if you put stuff inside, it won't come off completely. In order to open it, you have to take off these flaps. So I'm not really good with handling the camera in this way, but you do it here. Do it here, and yes, it opens just like that. So here's the content, and the inside, <laughs> there's nothing inside. This was literally uh, an, an entire box, so an entire shoe box. Um, my dad gave them to me. He gave me like five in bulk. <laughs> so the 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 whole structure is just made up of these boxes. So the stem is the box. The top is the box. Literally, the top is a box unadapted. This is adapted using toilet rolls and the box as well. I made about, the, use the toilet rolls. I made a square around where the toilet rolls connect so that it's stronger. So like at these points where you see there's a bridge, that's where I put a square in between the roll so that they'll be very strong. Then I use the glue. Um, I would use my hot glue gun all around it. I did use a lot of glue sticks. So if you do want to do this yourself, you need a lot of glue sticks. Or you can just use super glue. You can't use glue sticks. I mean, you can't use, like, press stick. Yeah, what am I saying? You can't use paper glue. <laughs> that. Um, it took me a long time, a really long time, several hours. But I'm very happy with it. Um, I used a lot of toilet rolls, I used a lot of these boxes, and I'm kind of happy with the outcome. So, now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to plot it outside to show you. So, this is the area that I'm going to put it, around here somewhere. I'll actually pause and then come back to the place where I actually put it. Okay, so unfortunately I actually couldn't find the place. But I think I'll just plop it up next to the actual sign of my house. I mean, my <laughs> my family's house, not my house. So, yeah, I think I'll just plop it like this. And then I'll tie it next so that it's super strong. 
that's the plan I think I'll actually do. Because I was thinking to put it next to a hole. Because if I put it in a hole, it'll be stronger. But I'll just leave it like this and then tie it so that it's strong. So I guess I should go on to the waterproofing part. Okay, so I'm back. Um, by form of waterproofing for this, because there is going to be rain, obviously, because this is outside, um, is plastic bags. So, plastic bags are very waterproof, so I'll decide to use that, and I guess I kind of am cleaning up. <laughs> I'm cleaning up little by doing this. It's not a lot, but it kind of is something. So, I'll use plastic bags. I was thinking of what type I would use. My dad said that I could rather use um, those ones that you use to put all your rubbish in. So like those black bags. I said that I didn't want to use that because it was black. And I don't have anything against the color black. But it's, you know, it takes a lot of sunlight and it heats it up. And I don't want anything that's inside of the actual mailbox to get heated up. Because that would be very bad. But all the other colors was what we didn't have, and I didn't really want to actually spend money on this. So, we, I'll just use that. I'll cut it up, and if it really is a problem, then I'll find another way, <laughs> just like I always do. And boom! I did it! I finished it. I'm so impressed. This is how it looks like completely finished in the bag this took me a very very long time so I didn't finish the inside with this plastic because that would just be a lot and there'll be too much hot glue sticks and I actually finished all my hot glue sticks but I luckily bought some I bought six more when I went to the China mall the China shop but you can even see like this and cover up, but it's fine. I won't cover it up Only if it's if, only if I have to I will that's my mentality. I'm going for now But yeah, it's waterproof all I need is rope and I can start testing it. So I'm very excited Okay, so now I have it in my bath bathtub bathtub and I'm gonna take water and pour it on this. I'm very, very scared because if this gets soggy, then it's over. So I have three different stages where I'll just lightly take this water and let me put the flashlight on. I'll take this water, pour it on here, and I'll like maybe level one lightly pour it, level two actually take it and start pouring, and then level three I just put the whole thing on it. If I do see that it is starting to break, I will stop, because probably level 2 is like the most realistic situation. So, because I, I do want, I don't want to do this all over again because it was a lot of time. So I am going to close it and then we can begin. Okay, level 1. So I'll just take a bit. Uh, here's a moment of truth. Ah, okay, a little bit more for good measure. Oh, 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 that was a little bit more dangerous. Just one more. <coughs> oh, sorry. Okay, okay, it's, it's coming through. Let me focus it. Okay, it's, it's, it looks okay. Let's check the inside. Uh, I'm doing this all with one hand. <gasps> ooh, ooh, ooh. It's a little wet in there. Ooh. Okay. Even the top is completely fine. That's awesome. Okay. It passed level one. Let's get into level two. Okay, so now I'm not going to dry it because realistically rain won't dry itself if it wants to get more difficult. So, oh, I'm very, very scared, but here yeah, goes nothing, just a tiny bit. <laughs> wow. Okay, okay. 
That is very cool. It's getting very waterproof. Oh, wow. This is fascinating. Very fascinating. Okay, I'm actually starting to make a mess. But it's all going inside here. That's so cool. It's past level two. Okay, well, let me just open this. I'm actually pretty scared because... Ah, oh, completely fun. Completely fun. Even on the top. Wow. Okay, now let's get to level three. Okay, so this is the most difficult state. Okay, it needs to focus. Yes. Now, I took, I even added more water. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm going to pull this whole thing on this. Keep in mind, if this does pass, that means even when it's like full rain, like flood rain, it can still survive. And even if it doesn't survive, that it can still survive basic rain. So three, two, one, I'm going to full speed. <gasps> oh. Hey guys, it's editing me. <laughs> I don't know why I always have to interrupt these videos. But if you saw that really big scream, doesn't it just make you feel like I was like one of those YouTubers that like their whole channel is just based on them screaming? You know those kind of YouTubers, those content creators that just shout non-stop and like your ears want to pop? Yeah, that's how I sounded. This is really how my channels, <laughs> this is what my channels come to. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm so scared. Oh, oh, it's soaking, it's soaking, it's soaking. Ooh. Okay, so this scene is completely drenched in water and that's very bad. Literally, there's water all over this. <laughs> it's so sad, but um, at least the top is surprisingly dry, which is the most surprising part. Like, I, you'd expect that the top would be soaking because of all pour from the top. But the sides are wet, and that's really bad because this is the side that makes the whole thing inside it very strong. This flap is very weak now. So what I am going to do is I'm going to put it out in the sun because the sun is very hot and dry. So I hope it's, uh, I hope it's fine. Even my phone got wet in this process. But yeah, I, I guess it's, it is what it is. <laughs> okay, so that was basically it for that part. It survived the strength test, definitely. It exceeded in that. The waterproof test, it kind of did badly in <laughs> Because it passed the two levels, and that is like the most two realistic levels. But like, it's not actually exactly destroyed, because it still has its shape. It's just the flaps are the only thing that are like soaked. And the worst part is, that part shouldn't be soaked, because if it's soaked, it'll get damaged, and it'll all tear apart because it's made of cardboard. And that means the whole safety feature's gone, which means it'll fail the water test, and it'll fail the cardboard. No, and it'll fail the strength test, and that's what we don't want. <laughs> so, I guess the lesson I should learn is to actually use materials that would work, like wood. <laughs> but, I don't know why I used cardboard, I felt like it was very aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> and, I did like it. To be honest with you, I think it did really well. Um, I'm very happy about it. I am going to post photos. I know this will dry, so I'm not actually that worried. And even if it get dis did get destroyed, eh, it's an experiment. <laughs> okay, so it's a lot of days later, and I said I am going to queue the photos now. But um, I just wanted to show you. So it actually all ended up drying. I'm not sure if you can see it. So it's all dry. Ooh, that's very bright. It's all dry, and... This is just the only part that kind of doesn't work because the water went into it. So it's not actually waterproof. It's basically just water resistant. So I'm going to tie it to the area. Um, the sign, yes. I'm going to tie it to the sign. And there isn't a lot of rain like this week. So um, <laughs> you're probably just going to see this go through a lot of sunny days. And... People are going to see it and probably going to touch it. So, 
I don't want to spare you the boredom. I'll just show you how it looks. Ooh. And that's the entire video. I am very, very impressed by what I was capable of doing. It wasn't perfect, far from perfect to be honest with you, but I'm very happy with the results. This was the longest video I have ever made. And like, it's not because it's long in length, I hope not, but it's just the sheer amount of hours that I spend doing this. Like, I probably took four weeks, the span was probably four weeks, and the amount of time was probably like 24 hours, obviously spread across those four weeks. But it was really fun. I'm really happy. I'm glad that I finally finished something again. <laughs> yeah, so you may see that I don't use a script anymore because if you watched my other video where I compared two different cables, which not everyone really saw, but... I used a script there, but that didn't really do well, so I'm just holding it back until I feel like it's ready again for me to post that, um, to start using the script again. So it's nothing that bad, it's just, I'll hold back and then continue on when time has come. So please like and comment below what next you want me to create, because this was very fun, even though it took a long time, I still loved it. So, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe if you want to, and remember... Have a good day. Peace.